there we go. Now we're back in focus. All right, it's me again, and I still have Snickers on the table. Um, I promise she's probably already long gone home by the time you see this, so she wasn't on the table forever. But at any rate, I want to talk to you a little bit about ear safety. And our hearing, as you know, anybody who's been in the grooming industry very long, you know, we're always going, huh, what? And we talk really loud. Well, that's because of the damage to our hearing. Thank you. The dogs bark, the dryers are loud, the clippers are continuous, and it affects our hearing. When I am drying, I wear gun muffs. These are the best thing I've found to muffle out the sound of the dryer without making it so I can't hear the dog. But you want to protect their ears as well. And one of the tricks is cotton in the ears. Well, this is coiled cotton instead of cotton balls. Would you stop? You are not a good model for this. She really just wants to get off the table. So you can pull off as little as you need or as much as you do. Stop. This is silly. There's no reason for this. And you just basically stuff it down in the ear canal. And if you need to, you can stuff several pieces down. Sometimes I will take little bitty pieces and stick it down in the ear canal. And then take another piece on top of it to make sure it stays. But with the rolled cotton, it's so easy to do. And you always have the box handy. We keep it on the windowsill here behind me. There's a glass window behind this quilt and we keep it there. But once that's in their ears, a lot of them behave much better. Yes, you can use a happy hoodie. Some people find those work really well. I don't like them personally, but that's me. It doesn't mean they don't work for you or for other people. That's great if they do. Fantastic. Some people wrap a towel around their heads. Cotton in the ears is what we choose to do in here. Um, you want to protect their hearing as well as yours because it is loud and it will cause damage. I know. They have less hearing damage than we do because they're not here all the time and they're not exposed to it 24-7 like we are. Or at least 7.30 to 5.30 like we are. I really can't wait for those dryers to turn off every day. It's like an instant release of tension when they do. Um, and I feel that way about hair dryers, stand dryers, force dryers. It doesn't matter. Any dryer. Fans in the back room. I just want them off. When they're off, my tension level drops from here to here. I tend to wear earplugs during the day as well. Um, I have some titanium earplugs that are made for constant wear and I wear them almost all the time because I really cannot stand the noise anymore. It's just getting to the point that it's driving me up the walls. Can't handle it. Can't wear these all day because customers look at you funny. And I always try to take one out. Usually my right one stays either really loose or out so I can hear everybody around me. But the ones I wear, um, I'll put in the blog post what the brand is because I can't remember right offhand, actually are designed to be worn all the time. And you can hear talking and answer the phone and everything else with them on. And it doesn't interfere with your hearing. It just muffles everything so it's not quite as loud and your nerves aren't quite as frayed by the end of the day. My shop is generally speaking very quiet except for the dryers. We don't have a whole lot of barking dogs or crazy dogs. I've never under really stood why, but the, it's really the truth. We just really don't have all that noise in the background most of the time. We have one or two dogs that are act anxious like her, but not all of them are like that. We're going to get her dry now. We have our earring, hearing protection in, our double loops for safety. Here comes the dryer. That's another story too. Tune in later.